Around the late 1960s, physicists found something missing, and that is neutrinos. Neutrinos are very, very small particles with no electric charge. There are three kinds or flavors of neutrinos, namely the electron neutrino, the tau neutrino, and the muon neutrino. Also, according to the standard model of particle physics, they do not have mass. In fact, they're so tiny that trillions of them pass through our body every second. Wait, where do these neutrinos come from? Well, they actually come from the sun. Our sun does nuclear fusion to produce heat and light. During this process, the sun releases two electron neutrinos. Because neutrinos can literally pass through anything, they will escape the sun and start traveling in space. However, in 1968, physicist Raymond Davis Jr. found something strange when he was trying to detect neutrinos here on Earth. He built a huge tank filled with a special fluid, which reacts with high-energy electron neutrinos. However, the amount of electron neutrinos detected was only one-third of what we've expected. So where did the two-thirds go? For over 30 years, this has remained a mystery. Finally, in 2001, we found a solution. When an electron neutrino is emitted from the sun, we used to think that it would be the same electron neutrino forever. However, experiments found that neutrinos can actually convert into the two other flavors, and that's why we only detect one-third of our expectation. What's interesting is that this conversion can only happen if neutrinos have mass, which means that the old theory is wrong. This discovery gave us a chance to understand neutrinos better, and we hope that one day we can unlock the true secrets to these tiny particles.